Hello and welcome to our Premier League preview brought to you by whoscored.com. I'm your host, Dan Worth, and I'm joined by Ben McAleer as we look ahead to the North London derby as Arsenal travel to Tottenham. Ben, you're obviously a Spurs fan. We should get that out before we go into any detail. Um, so the first thing I want to ask is what do you make of Arteta's new contract? Do you, well, it must, it must bring fear, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, fear. It's, you know, a huge show of faith of Arsenal, but it's one that he deserves. I mean, you look at it when he first started and, you know, Arsenal fans were clamouring for him to be sacked quite early on. But, you know, they stuck with him. They assembled a squad in his vision and now they're challenged for the title, um, potentially others. So it's the confidence boost they need after what's been a pretty roller coaster international break, we'll say. Um, and it's not ideal timing for Tottenham, but it's great timing for Arsenal and it's well deserved. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I, I do think that Arsenal may have brought that forward um, because obviously a lot of the news over the last couple of weeks has been pretty bad for Arsenal. So maybe they've done that this time to give them a bit of a boost before this huge match. I also read, and I'm not sure how much credibility this has, but that Man City might have approached Arteta, which may have also kind of pushed Arsenal to, to act on this a bit quicker. But yeah, I completely agree. Obviously, the questions are, is Arteta the guy to take Arsenal to the title? I mean, he's gone pretty close. Um, but then again, started this season a little slower. Um, but we'll see. We've got a few more years now. So so maybe Arsenal will get over the line. Let's talk about um, the game itself then. And I've already mentioned the bad news for Arsenal, which probably brings a smile to your face. Um, and that is the list of absentees, particularly in Arsenal's midfield. Um, the likes of Odegaard, uh, who will be out and Rice will be suspended. Marino's uh, injured since he came in and Calafiori looks to be out too. Um, what do you make of those injuries? Because surely they boost Tottenham's chances, right? Absolutely. I mean, with, with Rice, you've got, you know, he's come in and been absolutely unbelievable for Arsenal. But you feel like they would have cover for him. The huge blow is uh, Erdegaard. I mean, he leads the way for accurate through balls, keep us from open play, possession on the attacking third since the start of the Premier League, uh, since the start of the 23-24 Premier League season. And replacing him in midfield is basically an impossible task. Uh, you kind of think, why did they allow Fabio Vieira to go out on loan back to Porto? Obviously, hindsight is 2020. He couldn't have foreseen Erdogan picking up a nasty ankle injury against Austria in midweek. And to lose those two players in that midfield is such a huge blow for them. I mean, that's obviously, that's obvious. Um, it's just how do they sort of counter that? You know, do they bring Jorginho into the midfield? He's going to look very rusty. Do they push Zinchenko in there? Uh, do they keep Havertz up front and bring Ethan Nornieri in there? It's just, uh, it's a huge, huge blow for Arsenal. Huge boost for Tottenham. Um, but I guess now it's time for Arteta to really earn that contract extension. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, um, well, he'll be pretty disappointed, obviously, to lose um, Odegaard and, and club captain because that's huge and that is exactly the type of player you want to come in. Well, not come in, but be available for big derbies like this. Um, it, I think these absentees just make the midfield battle so crucial. I mean, it always is. That's kind of a ridiculous thing to say because it always bears a lot of weight on the result. But I think Tottenham's midfield will be licking their lips at, at the prospect of how Arsenal will line up. And as I said, they'll probably be coming into this with maybe a little bit more confidence than they would have been had Arsenal had all of their full strength options. Um, but we'll see how that unfolds. Um, we don't know yet. Don't know what Arteta is going to do. Maybe he'll surprise us all. Um, but it does seem like from, from what I've read that they're likely to drop Havertz back, which is obviously going to have implications. I was going to say huge implications, but again, I, I can't see the future, but we'll have implications on their attacking output. So a lot of question marks around around that for me. But segue, let's talk about Tottenham's attacking output. And it looks like a home debut for Solanke could be on the cards. That's another big boost for Spurs. Yeah, I mean, you look at the underlying numbers against uh, Leicester, not Leicester Everton, but Leicester and Newcastle, Tottenham dominated possession. They create the chances. They just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, especially against Newcastle before the international break. Johnson came on and was creating chances freely, Tottenham dominated possession. And they just needed someone to lead the charge and put the ball in the back of the net, which they didn't have with both Solanke and Richarlison out. Hopefully for Tottenham, Solanke will be back to make his home league debut. 
Uh, he's, I think he scored the sixth most home league goal since the start of last season, which isn't obviously a record to really shout home about. But, you know, it's a home league debut in the North London derby. It's written in the stars that Solanke gets off to a scoring start. Yeah, it, it does feel that way, doesn't it? Much like it was written in the stars for Kane to score in his 100th, 100th appearance for England, and he obliged. It does feel like Solanke could be getting on the score sheet here to mark his home league debut. But obviously, Arsenal will be looking to stop him. Um, and the last point I wanted to talk about before we talk about bet builders um, is Saliba. And, and in fact, the comparison between Saliba and Christian Romero. Um, you're the stats man here, Ben, so I'm going to lean on you quite heavily. But it appears that the stats would suggest that Christian Romero is having a better season than Saliba. Uh, is that the case? Yeah, very much so. Um, Saliba's obviously ranked highly for tackles and he's yet to be dribbled past. But Romero has uh, made more interceptions, conceded fewer fouls. Uh, yet to be booked, surprisingly. Um, so the stats back up the fact that Romero is arguably the better centre back. Obviously, you know, stats in the eye test, uh, two different things. And I'm not going to stick my Tottenham hat on here and say Romero is the greatest <laughs> centre back in the world. Um, I think Saliba is a Rolls Royce of a centre back, and he he just makes defending not not necessarily defending, but the way he defends just looks so easy and. The fact that he's added this kind of robustness and willingness to really get stuck in to his game uh, will only help Arsenal. Um, especially when got Gabriel alongside him. Uh, he's another sort of well, I don't he's robust again, but he is he's that kind of, he he is the sort of bouncer in that defense, you could say. And Saliba looks to have added that to his um repertoire, which will only make him more difficult to bypass. Yeah, for sure. Um I mean, you could reel off all of the Arsenal defence, really. They are quite effective and we are talking about one of the best defences in the league without question. So we are shaping up for one hell of a game, really. Um, mm. And I I can't wait. I do think Spurs score, but let's talk about that shortly um, because we're going to look at some bet builders. If you haven't already seen uh, who scored have launched their very own bet builder comparison tool powered by Odds Checker, where you can... Compare all of your bet builders with the UK's top bookmakers uh, and get a best price and worst price. And what's more, it's housed right by all of whoscored.com's uh, player stats and all the stats you need to inform those bet builders. So it really is a one stop shop. If you're placing bet builders, there's only one place to go. It's super easy to use, as you can see, by going to whoscored.com and having a play around with the tool. Or if you follow us on social, you'll see a few posts and, and a video tutorial of how to use it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But Ben and I have come up with a banker and a long shot for the North London derby. I'll throw it to you, Ben, and you can talk us through the banker and the rationale for that bet. Yeah, so the bank we've gone for... Sorry, I need to find it again now. Um, sorry. All good. Uh, let me find the rationale. I did have it up here somewhere and I've lost it again, which isn't ideal. No problem. Build the suspense. Sorry, give me a sec. <laughs> Building it big time. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Right. Okay, we've gone for both teams to score. Uh, it's happened five of the last seven league meetings. Double chance homer away. Uh, there hasn't been a draw in the last five league meetings between these two at Tottenham. And Bukayo Saka to score any time. Uh, at the time of recording, this is available at a best price of nine to two. Uh, Saka scored in both uh, league meetings with Tottenham last season. And he still remains the most effective attacking outlet. He's only scored once this season, but he's averaging 3.3 shots per game. Um, so you, you expect him to be you know, there or thereabouts when, uh, at the end of chances when Arsenal do get forward. So, yeah, I think that's going to be a bit of a bang coming in. Um, I can't see there being a draw in this one. And it looks like there's going to be goals at both ends of the pitch, especially with Arsenal's depleted midfield. Yep, I completely agree. I really like this bet, and I think at nine to two, there, there's quite a bit of value there. Particularly as you say, with the with the worst odds in the market at ten to three, um, that's a chunky price differential. So, uh, for anyone who's hearing about this tool for the first time, that's exactly why you need to use it because the price differentials mean that when you win, you win the most possible uh, most amount possible. So do go and use it. Um, the both teams to score, particularly, I love because as I already said, I think Spurs score, um, and Arsenal going forward are top quality. And, and I know I already mentioned that maybe there'll be question marks if Havertz does drop back. You can never put question marks around Bukayo Saka because, I, I mean, I don't have the superlatives to, to really do him justice because he is top class. 
Um, right, we'll move on to the longer shot then. This actually comes in at 35 to 1 with Bet365. So um, as with any bets that we talk about, please do bet responsibly um, and stake accordingly because 35 to 1 obviously has less chance than, than Ben's uh, banker here, but it's a bit of fun. And I think these do have a chance of coming in. So tail if you wish. We're starting with Arsenal to win. Um, they've won their last two trips to Tottenham. Um, they're unbeaten in nine in the league, not against Tottenham, but just in league games. Um, they're obviously a very good side. No, no one needs me to, to tell them that. Next up, we've got Saar to be carded. Uh, no Spurs player has been booked more times since the loss of uh, since the start of last season. Um, and he's been booked two league starts against Arsenal. We've spoke at length about the midfield battle here. Um, it's going to be tight, for sure. It's going to be feisty. It's the North London derby. Um, so Saar could well be in amongst the cards. And final leg is Hyung Min Sun to score any time. Um, I absolutely love this leg. I've actually tipped this as my nap of the week in another show. So um, that's probably my most confident selection of the week. Um, he loves to score against Arsenal. He scored in four of the last five home games against the Gunners. Um, I think he's played 18 games against Arsenal and scored in seven with two assists. So he, yeah, he absolutely loves it. Um, chances are if Solanke comes in, then Sun will revert to his favourite position um, and where we see him become the most effective. And he is very likely to play 90 minutes. So um, this bet, if he hasn't scored in the first half, I wouldn't stress too much because he'll probably be there right at the very end, right till the very end of the game. So as I said, this is 35 to 1 with Bet365. Um, but as little as 18 to 1 elsewhere in the market. So the banker was a big uh, differential. This one is a huge differential from 35 to 1 to 18s. So do make sure you use the whoscored.com bet builder comparison tool to make sure that you don't miss out on that value. Right, not much more to cover, Ben. But as a Spurs fan, I want to get your score prediction for this match. So, I mean, I reckon last season's North London derby was a bit of a key indicator on how this will go. I think it'll be goals at both ends. I think it'll be a really exciting game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But I think Arsenal are going to edge this one 3-2, just because they're stronger at set pieces and that's one of Tottenham's main weaknesses. So, 3-2 to Arsenal was my my prediction. Very good. Um, despite it being in the long shot with Arsenal to win, I, I it's a bit of a cop-out, actually. But I, my heart of hearts is saying that this is going to be a score draw. Um Obviously, I'd like Arsenal to win, so that long shot bet comes in. And I think of the two sides, Arsenal are the most likely. But I fancy goals, as you say. I fancy a draw. I think Arsenal will be actually quite happy with a draw, given the fact that they've got Man City just around the corner. And the thought of taking one point from three games and already being a chunk behind Man City after um, five games will be a massive worry for Arteta. So I think they'll probably snatch a draw if, if offered it to them. Um, at this point. So, 2-2, uh, two, two, I reckon. Right, that brings us to a close then. Thanks very much for joining us. As we've talked about the whole time, head to whoscore.com for all of your match stats and now their very own bet builder comparison tool to make sure you get the best value for your bet builders. Thanks to Ben for joining me. Please do gamble responsibly if you're tailing us on anything. But most of all, enjoy the weekend and enjoy the North London derby and we'll catch you next time.